Hello and welcome water signs. Alright, so today I'm going to be starting off with the sign of Pisces and then we'll get into Cancer and Scorpio. Um, I'm just going to be taking a look into their side of the story. So this could be a person that has an interest in you. <clears throat> this could be an ex-person. This could be a secret um, admirer, someone who has a crush, you know, whatever the situation is. Just kind of getting a look see what's going on with Pisces right now. And I'll take an oracle card and then we will go ahead and get into the tarot. All right, so Pisces. We have lessons, we have separation, and we have contemplation. All right, so my Pisces, uh, you might be in separation from this person. So the person that is coming through could possibly be, you know, like an ex. It, this could even be, you know, friendship situation. Um, maybe someone you didn't really quite get to date. Like I said, we'll get more into it. And it's going to resonate differently for everyone. But again, we will just kind of see what comes out. But it does appear that you are in separation from this person. Um, it appears that either you taught your person some lessons or your person is currently learning some lessons but it seems like right now they're doing a lot of contemplation um, possibly in hermit mode definitely just taking some time out really kind of thinking about things you know trying to see the bigger picture and again just really kind of I'm almost getting eight of swords with that contemplation usually I don't really get that so your person may have a lot on their mind Pisces Eight of Swords is just, um, it's, you know, really kind of being stuck in your head. All right, let's get some cards and see what is going on for Pisces in their side of the story. What is Pisces person's side of the story? Okay, one more shuffle. <laughs> yeah. All right, so what did I say? I was getting Eight of Swords with that contemplation energy, and the Eight of Swords comes out. Okay, um, bottom of the deck, though, we do have the Wheel of Fortune. So, you know, this is talking about divine timing. This is talking about where you could possibly be feeling quite stagnant right now, especially with this person. I'm not getting that you guys are in communication at the moment. Um, again, I think your person is really just has a lot on their mind. Is really kind of thinking a lot, going through a lot of um, emotions, a lot of just life issues. They're learning some lessons. These could be, this could be a cycle that they're going through. But again, I am sensing that you guys are in separation and I'm not picking up any communication between you two at this time. Um, now with the chariot, your person may have walked on or not walked on, uh, moved on, walked away, moved on. But Pisces, I'm not really picking up that they got far. They may have separated from you. They may have, like I said, tried to move on from your relationship, you know, whatever your situationship was. But I'm not getting that they have moved far, that they've completely moved on to happiness and moved on without you. Um, I keep getting, especially with this Four of Wands, more of like a um, reminiscing. Okay. But yeah, but with the chariot, like I said, to me, it's more like they're stagnant. You know, they've got a lot on their mind. Again, lessons still learning, um, separation. Let me see what else is on the top of the deck. Yeah, we have judgment card. Again, contemplation, trying to make a judgment call. You know, trying to make a big decision. Like I said, I'm just not getting that they've really completely, entirely moved forward. And with this Wheel of Fortune, it's almost like kind of tell, telling me that, you know, they've been kind of stagnant. They've been kind of stuck here. Um, but divine timing is at work. You know, they're going to move forward or, you know, whatever is going to take place is going to take place in divine timing. But again, with this Four of Wands, it's like they're kind of debating, did they make the right choice? Did they make right, the right decision? Because I'm getting that they kind of had to move away, walk away, 
whatever from a situation, a relationship. But now it's like they're questioning their decision. Especially with this Eight of Swords. <clears throat> Again, I was getting that before it even came out with the contemplation. Uh, your person is very much stuck in their head. Um, there's lots of decisions, lots of things around them that they're not trying to face, that they don't want to face. They don't have the answers for. They're not seeing straight. It's like they don't know what to do. They don't know what to choose. Again, they're not making any decisions. They're just kind of stuck and stagnant. And I think that just has a lot to do with anxiety. It has a lot to do with fear. It has a lot to do um, emotionally with them just being stuck, being really in their heads, really kind of guarded. And again, I think they're really kind of weighing the consequences of the choice that they made. <clears throat> now, with this Knight of Swords... Hmm. You could be getting some communication. Pisces, this could be you communicating with this person, or this could be your person deciding to communicate with you. Because like I said, I do see them really in that thought mode, really in that hermit mode, uh, that thought process, you know, really trying to figure things out. Um, again, I keep getting that they, hmm. Uh, Pisces, if they left you for another relationship or they just left you just to leave, I'm getting regret. And like I said, but it's something that they had to do because of this lessons card. It's something that they had to, um, that was just kind of written, you know, on their path. It's something, again, like I said, that they had to do. <clears throat> but yeah. Hmm. Okay. But again, Pisces, um, I do see your person possibly reaching out. Uh, with some kind of communication or something like that, um, very unexpectedly. Like I said, I think you've been kind of weighing on their mind a lot, um, how things were left. I think it could have happened possibly kind of suddenly. Um, but it's like something happened. <sighs> hmm. I'm trying to figure out how to explain this to what I'm saying. Um, okay, it's like something happened that you guys separated, your person walked away, and they were expected to move on or move away suddenly, but something keeps pulling them back. And I don't know if it's you. It could be, again, regret that they left this connection, that they left this situation. They could have left you for a possible job for some, but I'm getting more of just a relationship or just, just to, it's something they had to do. I just keep getting that it's something they had to do. Hmm. Okay, Pisces. Well, um, again, you know, this is your person side of the story. I do see them again, coming back with some kind of communication very kind of suddenly, you know, coming towards you Let me take the other three. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the other card on the top of the deck is eight of wands. So again, some communication going here with this knight of swords. Um, yeah. Okay. Cause we have the five of swords. We have the five of cups. Yeah, and then a decision to make. So I'm just getting that, you know, your person kind of feels kind of crappy about how they left things, how they left the situation. Um, it's like they got what they wanted, but then in the end, they're really contemplating, did I really get what I want? You know, I left Pisces behind in search of some in search uh, in search of something that I thought I wanted, and when I got it, it's. Not all that, you know, shimmers is gold. You know what I mean? It's that type of situation. Um, yeah, definitely not because I keep getting regret. I keep getting sadness here because five of cups again. And then two of wands again, making that decision. Pisces, if you have been waiting on communication from, like I said, a person that you are currently in separation with, you know, it could, again, come in kind of suddenly, very unexpected, but I do see communication coming in because I'm picking up, again, like I said, your person just feels a lot of regret, um, especially how they left things, how they left you. Again, I'm not getting that what they left you for or who they left you for um, was really all that it was chalked up to be. But again, Pisces, this was something that, you know, your person had to do. This was a lesson for them. And, you know, but it's really kind of made them take a step back and contemplate, um, you know, everything and, you know, especially how much, you know, you mean to them. So, all right, well, Pisces, that was for you. So I do hope this helps your situation hearing their side of the story. So now we will go on to Cancer. All right, so Cancer, this is your reading. Now, remember, I don't think I said this in the beginning of the video, but, um, you know, definitely check sun, moon, rising, 
Um, you know, sometimes Venus, especially when it's dealing with love. But definitely check those signs out. All right. <clears throat> so, Cancer, let's see what your person's sign of the story is. And I hope you guys can see me shuffling on camera. It should be picking it up at the angle I'm at. Okay. Pisces got three, so we're going to go ahead and take three for Cancer as well. All right, so Cancer, the first one that wanted to come out for you was Mirroring, Divine Feminine, and Deception. Okay. All right, so Cancer. Um, this could be kind of a... I hate... I don't think I really like to label um, as far as twin flames, soulmates, you know, things like that. Because I think that really kind of takes away and it confuses people. And then people start worrying more about what label their relationship has instead of just enjoying the relationship or learning from that relationship and growing. So I don't really care too much for labels. But as far as mirroring, um, you know, this could just be someone almost like a soulmate connection. You know, someone you guys have a lot in common with. You really kind of see yourself with this person. You know, this person can kind of see themselves in you as well. Um, divine Feminine, you have either awakened the Divine Feminine within this person or vice versa. And then Deception. So this person could have been holding something from you, you know, kind of hiding something, been, some, uh, been deceptive to you. All right, Cancer, let's go ahead. Let's take some cards and see what we got. Let's see how many we got here. All right, so we have the King of Pentacles. We have the Page of Swords. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Page of Wands. Okay. All right, so bottom of the deck, we have the King of Swords. Okay, um, so this person could have been dealing with more than one person. Hmm. I'm getting that your person is really kind of contemplating a lot. Um, the deception part, again, they could have been dealing with more than one person. There could be a little bit of an age difference between you and your person, Cancer. Um, or there could just, you know, be some kind of like immaturity, you know, emotional immaturity, um communication, you know, immaturity, like whatever, but there could be, again, some kind of immaturity between you guys, um, more kind of on your person side, I should say. Uh huh. Okay. So I'm getting that your person is, um, like a silver tongue devil is what I keep hearing. You know, they're very smooth talkers. So I keep getting that your person may have been dealing with more than one person, Cancer. Um, maybe you didn't know about it. Maybe you just found out about it. You know, maybe they kind of try to keep you in the dark, like whatever the case is. But I'm getting your person may want to reach back out to you. It's like they're kind of toying with the idea. They're kind of thinking about it. Hmm. Okay, we do have Seven of Wands. So your person could have been kind of defensive. We have Knight of Wands, we have the Sun, and then we have the Eight of Swords. Okay. Hmm. All right, but what I'm getting for you, Cancer, is you want truth from the person. I don't think they've been, they've either been telling you what they think you want to hear, or they just haven't been telling you the truth. It's like they tell, they give you glimpses of the truth, but... It's still kind of murked up. You know, it's like that murky water. Like you can kind of see a little bit of the truth in it. But then you kind of got to pick and pull apart like what is actually the truth here and what's not. Um, you know, from your story. So, you know, Cancer, I think that's where, you know, again, uh, I'm getting just silver-tongued, you know, devil type person. Um, not that they're evil or anything. Just kind of, like I said, smooth talker, deceptive. Um, just kind of more or less telling you what you, what they think you want to hear and kind of covering their tracks. Uh, 
again, I keep getting that, like I said, immature attitude, or yeah, immature attitude, um, immature communication, and just way of thinking. Hmm. But again, I do, I am getting that your person is kind of toying with the idea of wanting to communicate, wanting to, but then it's like, they're kind of back and forth. It's like they want to communicate. Again, they're kind of toying with the idea, <clears throat> but then it's like, uh-uh, I'm just going to go ahead and go my way. You know, going to let cancer go their way. I'll go my way. <clears throat> and I think that's just because they don't want to answer any questions. I don't think, I think because they know you want the truth and you want you know, all cards laid out on the table. Again, you don't want any murky waters. You want crystal clear, lay everything down on the table. Let me hear the truth for once. And, you know, you can't backtrack. It's not what I want to hear. Just tell me whatever the truth is. And cancer for you, for them, it's just not something they can do right now. It's like, I just keep hearing that, you know, they're going to be very defensive and they don't want to have this conversation. Hmm. Yeah, and then the uh, the other three cards on top of the deck, like I said, were the Knight of Wands, the Sun card, and the Eight of Swords. So, <clears throat> it's like your person is... I'm almost getting like a selfish energy from your person. And it's like they wanted to... They were just doing what made them feel good, what made them feel happy. Um, again, just kind of really looking out for number one. I don't think they really wanted a relationship at the time. <clears throat> yeah, it's more or less just like they're looking out for their own happiness. But within doing that, like I said, it really kind of puts them in their own head. Yeah, Cancer, if you're waiting for communication um, or you're waiting for this person to kind of reach out, like I said, I'm, I get wishy-washy. You know, I get that um, they're kind of toying with the idea of possibly communicating, possibly reaching out. But then at the same time, I think they're just too worried and too much on the defense about they don't want to have this conversation with you. They know you want the truth. They know you're not going to settle for anything less. And they just don't want to go down that road. Like I said, I keep getting like a selfish behavior, a selfish type energy to where they're just kind of looking out again for themselves and looking out for their own happiness, regardless of how it makes you feel. All right. Oh, okay, that's kind of a tough one there. <clears throat> uh, cancer, so that was yours. Uh, let's go ahead and go on to Scorpio now. All right. Ooh. Okay, so Scorpio, let's get your person's side of the story. <clears throat> All right. All right, Scorpio, what is your person's side of the story? So there could currently be no communication, or you could just feel like maybe they're kind of not being truthful with their communication. So let's see, what is going on with Scorpio? Okay, I want that one. On one more. All right. Ooh, okay. So bottom of the deck, whoop, we do have pride and ego, which is always a deal breaker. All right. So, <laughs> uh, Scorpio, divine timing, nostalgia, and settling. All right, so Scorpio, it appears that your person is really kind of, okay, I do get that you guys are in some kind of separation, some kind of maybe pause, you know, taking a break, whatever the case is. I'm not getting a whole lot of communication for you guys, but I am getting, or if there's communication, it's very, um, uh, it's that, you know, hey, how you doing? How's the weather? Okay, well, got to go. You know, just wanted to see if, how you're doing. You know, type communication, just kind of short, sweet. Um, a little awkward <laughs> is what I keep getting to. So, um, Scorpio. Again, but I'm feeling that your person is just very, 
very nostalgic just remembering kind of how things were with you guys really kind of uh, I'm getting six of cups type energy you know just remembering the times remembering you know feeling really at home with you feeling very comfortable with you um, you know everything that you did for them you know stuff like that again just feeling very nostalgic now with the divine timing you know that is just telling me that you know you guys are in kind of separation or you know going through um, like I said that pause whatever it is. I keep saying pause because I don't, I don't feel like this is over Scorpio. Okay. Um, bottom of the deck, we do have the 10 of wands. So your person is having a very hard time right now, feeling very overwhelmed, overburdened, overstressed, overworked, just exhausted, you know, carrying that weight of the world on their shoulders. Uh, but it's like they have a goal. They're not losing hope. They're not giving up. And again, I keep that kind of goes with the nostalgia card for me. Divine timing, though, it just wasn't time right now. But settling, it just you know, it just kind of feels like your person is just kind of settling right now until you know, divine timing kind of takes its course. All right. So, <clears throat> wow. Okay, so Scorpio, you know, we start off with the Ten of Cups, the King of Wands, Three of Wands, and then King of Cups. Did I say King? Okay, I meant Ten of Cups, King of Wands, Three of Wands, King of Cups. Um, hmm. All right, so we do have, you know, again, I keep getting separation because if you look at this King of Wands here, he's looking over here towards the Ten of Cups. You know, that Ten of Cups, that's emotional abundance. You know, that's just being very happy you know, just feeling very good, feeling very safe, secure at where you are, you know, in life, in your family, and, you know, feeling very comfortable, again, very emotionally abundant, you know, very happy, very optimistic. And this King of Wands, you know, who's usually kind of, you know, go-getter, uh, very passionate, um, taking charge, taking action type King, it's almost like he's just kind of chilling for a minute, like he's just taking some time out. You know, like he's trying to figure out, but again, with this nostalgia card and then just looking at the king at the way he's looking at the 10 of cups, you know, it's that nostalgia It's really, you know, thinking about, you know, his happiness, what he had, because again, I am feeling like you guys aren't together with this three of wands, you know, it's like, he's kind of waiting and I keep saying he or she, I'm referring to, um, you know, the people on the cards, but this could be male or female again, take it how it resonates. But it's like, you know, your person's kind of waiting with that three of wands here, waiting for communication, waiting for ships to come in. Um, there could be distance between you and your person. But, you know, your person's just, I think your person is waiting to reach out, waiting again for, you know, that divine timing for the right time to kind of reach out to you or either to travel towards you. Maybe they, again, maybe there's some kind of distance between you guys so they can't really travel to you at the moment. Um... You know, especially, you know, with everything going on, you know, overseas and like China and, um, you know, everything, you know, I mean, that's awful, you know, with that virus, but, you know, perhaps your person, like I said, is, you know, overseas doing some kind of business or something and they want to get back. They can't, or, you know, this could be, like I said, a number of situations, but I am getting like a pretty good distance between you guys. Now with the King of Cups, you know, this person, I'm not picking up more than one energy, by the way, Scorpio, um, I'm getting the same energy. I'm just getting with this King of Wands. He's just not taking action at the moment. He's just kind of sitting down. He's being nostalgic, really just kind of, you know, figuring out about his happiness, what he's missing, what he wants, you know, what he had. And again, and just waiting for the right time for divine timing. But now this King of Cups, you know, he's tired of settling. He wants to reach out again. You know, he's feeling <clears throat> or he or she, I keep saying he, I'm sorry. He or she is just feeling very overwhelmed. You know, I don't think they really can handle a whole lot right now. But they do, like I said, I really do see your person, Scorpio, wanting to reach out to you. You know, again, they're right now they're just kind of settling because they are so, again, very overwhelmed, you know, overworked, overburdened. Um, things like that. So, but I do, like I said, see that, <clears throat> see them wanting to reach out, wanting to offer that cup, you know, tell you their emotions, you know, try to kind of talk things out with you, you know, work things out with you. Uh, let me see. We have the top 
three cards, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, uh, top three cards of the deck is six of wands, eight of swords, and then the high priestess water signs. <laughs> Everybody you are dealing with is really kind of just in their heads. Um, very stressed out, very, like I said, with this eight of swords, I have to go back to the king of wands, taking just that break, taking that pause, just really being nostalgic, being stuck in their heads, but not taking action, not making a move, you know, not making any decisions. <clears throat> but with the six of wands, again, wanting to kind of reach out to you, you know, wanting to move forward with you, wanting to communicate, wanting to tell you, you know, their feelings, everything like that. But Scorpios, you know, definitely divine timing. Let things take its course. Let things happen on their own. Don't force things, you know, just let it happen. Um, with the high priestess, you know, they are, she's coming out because they don't know how I'm getting for a lot of you guys that they don't know how you're going to, um, if you're going to want to talk to them, they don't know if you're going to hear them out. And they don't know if you want to give them a second chance. So they could have left you. Um, or maybe you left them. Because I just keep getting that they don't know if they reach out, if you're going to talk to them, or if you're going to hear them out. So, all right. Well, Scorpio, this is your person's side of the story, like I said. Um, again, I do get them get that they want to reach out to you. They're just kind of scared that you're not going to hear them out or that you don't want to talk to them. You don't want to communicate with them like it's just done and over. But their wish is to communicate, express their feelings, and move forward with you victoriously because they're tired of settling. But at the same time, divine timing really just kind of needs to take control of this situation. And neither side, you know, Scorpio or your person, should try to force anything or move anything along until, you know, divine timing says, okay, now we're good to go. Let's move forward. All right. All right. Well, Scorpio, um, those are all my water signs. I hope this helps hearing their side of the story. Um, thank you guys so very much for watching, especially if you stayed for all three signs. And I look forward to seeing you guys again soon.